Good morning, YouTube. It's a wonderful day today. Another fine day in Texas, and I'm just having a great time. Other than possibly the uh, presidential elections, which uh, <laughs> kind of give you a downer every once in a while, things are great. And uh, we, we live in a great country, and things are going to work out eventually. But uh, we've got this situation where uh, a lot of people are dissatisfied with the candidates, which we... Uh, which have been nominated, and they don't really want Hillary, or they don't really want uh, Trump either. And uh, so uh, one of the individuals, which I listen to all the time, that uh, doesn't want uh, either one of the candidates is Timothy Leapart, and he's decided to run as, as an independent. And uh, so uh, it's uh, I, I listen to a lot of different channels. I listen to uh, military history, uh, the uh, uh United States history of the channels of uh, uh, political history and uh, a lot, lot, a lot of channels on all the different areas of the Republican debates. And I listen to mainly listen to a lot, all the inaugural speeches of all the presidents and all the funerals of the presidents. And uh, there's a lot of different uh, things available on YouTube to listen to, which are, are really great videos. And uh, then I listen to these political discussions and all as well. And uh, whereas a lot of the, these political discussions that we have on, on YouTube, they just uh, you know, it just, just doesn't consist of anything other than just maybe uh, I hate Trump or I love Trump or I hate Hillary or I love Hillary. And that may be about the extent that it goes. And then you get into a little bit of uh, cussing each other on there and uh, things like that. Uh, but every once in a while you run into some comments that are that really do bring up some good some good topics. And uh, uh, Timothy Leapart has, has a lot of that on his channel that are really good comments. And so I want to go into those a little bit today. Uh, and uh, and then eventually I, I want to go through some more comments on some other channels, uh, but I want to start out with Timothy's channel, and uh, because he come up with some good comments on there, which uh, it's uh, these comments I'm going to go into here uh, down here by uh, one of them is by T E Hubel H E U B E L, and uh, and then uh, Timothy. Uh, Lee Part makes his response, and it kind of represents uh, the two different sides of uh, two different sides of the issue, and in a kind of a way which uh, kind of gives you the ideas of how both sides are how the two different sides are looking at it, and a way which uh, will enable uh, me to begin a discussion. And uh, it's almost a uh, <laughs> it's almost fodder for a, 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 a new political. <laughs> A science course in, in university or something, everything that's been gone into here, uh, but uh, we'll try to keep it as short as I can. It may take several videos to uh, to really uh, uh, go into it uh, uh, to the extent that I, that I would like to, worthy of uh, of the statements that have been made, but we'll get started on it anyway and and just see what we can come, come up with and see what kind of discussions we can get started or, or how much I can further this discussion that has already been started. You know, we, that's one of the things we need to do on these uh, channels and everything is, is really get a, get a good uh, discussion started, not just uh, sling a, a mud at each other. And so uh, this has become of, a, a come of interest to me because there is actually a discussion going on here. Uh, okay, uh, I'm going to see if I can get this over there where you can read it, but if I can't, well, uh, I'll, uh, I'll read it off. Uh, okay, we start off here with uh, a comment. We'll start with this comment made by Ari Hubel. It uh, says two day, days ago, and uh, it says, You sound like a conservative and disgruntled Republican disappointed with the nomination of Trump. It must be said that even though Trump is very wealthy, he has tapped into the anxiety and resentment of poor and middle class whites and Republicans. You do not mention or attempt to analyze in your video the reasons for Trump's success in the Republican Party. He basically blew away all the other more experienced and much better funded candidates such as Bush, Cruz, and Walker. Neither do you mention the success of Sanders, a, a virtually, I hope you can read that, neither do you mention the success of Sanders, a virtually unknown senator from Vermont with no money and no support, within the Democratic establishment. 
he is pulling in about 45% of the Democratic vote. In some states, he has won 60% to 70% of the vote. Sanders is also tapping into the anxiety and the disgust with present unfair plutocratic oligarch system rigged for the benefit of the wealthy and big uh, corporations, especially after the economic crash of 2008, which ruined many lives. The unfairness and the corruption of the present economic system has been revealed. Sanders is highlighting this economic unfairness and corruption, drawing huge crowds and the mainly supporters, or many supporters he's drawing. Uh, a word about U.S. health care system. <laughs> it's going to take a lot more than a word about that, but, uh, but we're going to start discussing it anyway. A few words about the U.S. Uh, uh, health care system. <laughs> I just, I, I, pardon me, I just find that humorous. I mean, we're... <laughs> That we have the uh, most uh, expensive and least efficient health care system of any advanced nation. Uh, Canada, Britain, France, Germany, Australia, and uh, many other advanced countries all have government managed national health care systems. These are far less expensive and uh, bureaucratic than the compl complicated and profit driven U.S. system. And then he says. <laughs> <laughs> Here's another one, you know, that, uh, and I mean, it's good comment, and you don't have time to go, I know he doesn't have time to go into all of it, but but a word about, so he's going to just say, yeah, and that's why he says this, just a word about the U.S. healthcare system. You don't have time to really go much into it uh, in this in this venue, and I don't blame him for that, and then he says a word about higher education. <laughs> But that's something that I'm going to take a lot of videos on, believe me. A word about higher education. It used to be in many states that public universities were free, uh, such as California, or at a very low cost to the student. Now, both private and public colleges are quite expensive and are either unaffordable for young people or, if affordable, saddle them with large debt. And, I, you know, I thank Ari Hubble for bringing up these discussions. I don't agree with... Uh, uh, everything in, in his uh, apparent philosophy as far as the way I can judge it from just what little he's written here. I hope he makes some more comments. Uh, but even though I don't agree with it, I am so so happy, uh, completely agree with everything. I'm happy for the, uh, the discussion that he has uh, got started here. And then I'm going to uh, uh, read, uh, go down here next and read uh, what uh, uh, Timothy uh, uh, Leapheart had his response, which was very good for the amount of space, which I know he could have even gone a lot further, uh, but for the amount of space which he uh, had to, uh, uh, where it take me a minute to figure out, let's see, there's a whole lot on this, you'll have to go on, on Timothy Lee part and read all this for yourself, there's a whole lot on here, uh, let's see, okay, uh, Okay, we got we get it says view all ten replies. You have to punch that to get all of it. Okay, now he says uh, I understand your all your points, uh, but the only way to get all of this uh, advancement is by. Let's go ahead and cut this back over here. I don't think you can read that thread anyway. But he says so. You need to be able to see that somebody's back here talking. Uh, uh, I understand all your points, but the only way to get all the uh, advancement is by uh, by taxing the consumer at much higher rates than they are currently enduring. And the tax would have to come from middle America. The poor aren't paying any taxes now. And uh, the rich, even if you tax them at a hundred percent and hadn't made the videos for a while and so guess what I forgot to turn my loud air conditioner off <laughs> just make it let me get that off oh you know, always when you make your videos you got to get all the background noise off because otherwise it, it picks up these microphones are very sensitive uh, it says, I understand all your points, but the only way to get all this advancement is by taxing the consumer at a 
at much higher rates than they are currently enduring. And the tax would have to come from middle America. The poor aren't paying any taxes now. And the rich, even if you tax them at 100%, aren't going to be able to cover the extreme cost. And then he says, uh, of course, that's now that's a discussion on taxes, which, uh, you know, was a short form that would address uh, some of the points and the reason for some of the points, which uh, uh, that some of the things which uh, T.E. Uh, Hubel had gone into. But then uh, T.E. Hubel had, got, had also gone into the fact about the first, his first statement was, uh, you seem like a disgruntled conservative. And so Timothy responds, I am a disgruntled conservative. Republican, uh, I'm a Republican, disgruntled Republican primarily because that's the only alternative to Democrat. <laughs> and that's, that's a good statement. But what does conservative mean? And uh, <laughs> that's one of those statements which <laughs> is a bottomless pit. It will take a long time to, uh, to go into that one because the idea of uh, everybody has their own idea of what a conservative is. And, and, you know, there's really no such thing as conservative and liberal because everybody has certain things they're conservative on and certain things they're liberal on. And it just depends upon what your own, own point of view is on that. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's uh, it just depends on what you're conservative about and what you're liberal about as to whether, if you're, I guess if you're more, if you want to list about 25 things which we could list, if you're, if you're conservative on the majority of those, then you'd be called a conservative. If you're liberal on the majority of those, you'd be called liberal. I guess that's why we would have to arrive at a decision on that. But he says, what does the conservative mean? <laughs> I want to uh, preserve the freedoms that have been won for the American people by lots of blood and guts. However, I am not for denying many of the things I don't approve. People often need to uh, learn their own lessons, and I found that you can't legislate morality. I think you'll see some interesting points of view if you check some of my other videos. You know, and he has been going into all of these things in his other videos. Uh, I am for limited government and less social and fiscal interference. Uh, all of that falls into what most people think of as, as conservative. Uh, but the Republican Party that has lost its way just as badly as the, the Democrats. And in, in a, lot of, a lot of ways, that's true. Uh, uh, we, you know, we've got a lot that we, you know, uh, a lot of, uh, of that uh, uh, situation where we've lost our way in a lot of ways. But uh, they have all, they all have become so disconnected with the people that it would be funny if it wasn't so uh, serious. Uh, Trump and Sanders are capitalizing on the uh, weakest uh, segment of our society. Uh, people who want the uh, government to take care of all, all their problems. Uh, Trump is as liberal and extreme as uh, as Sanders, and uh, in a lot of ways, I guess that's true. I don't know if I completely agree with that, but Hillary isn't even worth discussing because she is a criminal, whether or not she is indicted. She blatantly violated security protocols <laughs> and willfully destroyed government records. There's no argument she can successfully make against something in which she is, she's admitted uh, that that doesn't uh, constitutionally disqualify her for the position is sad, uh, but it does on every other level. And, uh, of course, uh, in, my, the, my, in my opinion on that is uh, that... Uh, uh, there's things even worse than, I mean, not worse, but things which, you know, just would, uh, not that she's a bad person, but things which I just wouldn't want her uh, as the uh, uh, commander in chief or the uh, president for reasons which would go a lot deeper than than even that, in my in my opinion. And as far as what, what the way I would look at it is there's things before that even come up, you know, that, uh, you know, I never did. Uh, uh, from the very first statement she made when uh, when her and Bill Clinton were first written uh, were first running <coughs> back in the uh, early 90s and, and late 80s, I uh, I didn't uh, I didn't agree with her uh, her philosophy even then, and it's just gotten worse as it's going going along. But uh, we'll have to continue this discussion uh, on a uh, 
another uh, uh, video on the next video. Just go to the very next video.